This is Witchbase News for Friday the 31st of May 2024. I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week there's an excellent new guide showing how to make better use of the mission boards, SCO frameshift drives and enhanced AX modules are now available for sale on fleet carriers and do Arthur's words mean the Type 8 is being built for open combat. You know how this bit goes please like, subscribe and ding that little bell so that YouTube shows you all our content and if you'd like to directly help our work here at the Burr Pit you can also support us through Patreon. Links to that and everything else are in the description below. Commander Dituri who we've featured on this channel a couple of times now is continuing to make a name for themselves with video guides to all things Elite Dangerous. This week they've published an excellent guide to unlocking the Federal Corvette. The guide is not only useful because in Dituri's usual no nonsense style it talks you through exactly how to unlock the Fedi Battle Beast but also it's an excellent guide to using the mission boards in stations in general whether you're rising through the federal ranks, any other ranks or just looking to better affect the background simulation or garner favour with a minor faction. As always you'll find a link to the video in the description below. Just a quick info drop of something that was complete news to me this week until Commander Cyman pointed it out. If you own a fleet carrier it's likely that you don't casually drop the thing into a carrier administration system too often but if you feel so inclined and have the ship outfitting service installed you'll note that not only can you now sell caustic sinks and pulse wave xeno scanners as well as enhanced AX missile racks and enhanced AX multi cannons on top of that restocking the ship outfitting will now allow commanders to sell SCO enabled frameshift drives direct from their fleet carriers. We're not sure when this functionality was added but we figured if we here didn't know then there's likely other carrier owners who also don't know about the changes. As the dust settles on this weeks Frontier Unlocked livestream where FDev revealed the first concept art and renders of the next new ship to enter the game, the Type 8 freighter, some more information about the ship has passed across our desks here. When speaking about the ship on the livestream junior brand manager on Elite Dangerous Zach Cocken made particular mention that the ships distinctive forward facing arms which are very much one of the defining features of the ship are designed to hold many of the freighters turrets and hardpoints. As a result of their placement forward of the cockpit the pilot will be able to see them gimbling and firing when in combat. Freighters don't generally seek combat out. Whilst it's obviously possible in a T7 or a T9 it's less than ideal and is generally a side of the game that is best avoided when you're in such ships. For the weapons to be such a prominent defining feature of the new freighter then is an unusual choice to say the least. So could we be looking at a more combat capable freighter, something with significant hauling capacity and the ability to better defend itself when interdicted? We already know that with the arrival of Powerplay 2.0 FDev are very keen to see open play take a much bigger role in the game. We already know the T8 is SCO enabled so catching the thing to engage it will already come with its own challenges but even with an SCO enabled ship and a perfectly timed drop from overcharge there are still those final approach moments spent in regular supercruise as you get close to your destination where you are vulnerable to interdiction. It seems at least conceivable then that if the Python Mark II is an SCO capable interceptor the T8 could be one of the ships at least that it's going to be tackling in Elite's incoming Brave New World and that being the case the freighter is going to have to look after itself. There is one more piece of compelling evidence in this direction as well that we'd like to offer for your consideration. I'm grateful to Commander Nova Trio for pointing us at Frontier's Instagram video post about the livestream. In the short form video that aims to summarise the show in around 30 seconds Frontier's head of communication Arthur Tolmy refers to the Type 8 as a medium sized freighter fighter. 
Taken on its own it could of course be a trip of the tongue but in context with everything else it does raise the question are we looking at Elite's first combat freighter? Also of interest when talking all things Type 8 the Wolves of Janai pointed out on Twitter a major detail in the Type 8 renders that no one else had noticed at the time. When the ship is shown apparently in flight the set of 4 engine nacelles at the rear of the ship are very definitely held away from the body of the vessel on struts. However when the ship is shown on the ground with its landing gear down those same nacelles are very clearly closer to the body and the struts are now no longer visible. It appears that the engine nacelles retract and withdraw closer to the hull of the ship when the landing gear is deployed. This feature will obviously have the effect of reducing the overall physical footprint of the ship and it's conceivable then that this is the very thing that enables it to land on a medium pad unlike its boxier sibling the Type 7. As we mentioned in our first look video earlier this week the team at FDev are keen to show off more of the Type 8 in next months edition of Frontier Unlocked so it's possible we may get clarification on the feature then. As this weeks livestream was rounding out Zach and Arthur mentioned twice that as well as a look at more details on the Type 8 next month there may well be some more information on other things coming to Elite Dangerous in the next livestream and reiterated that we should probably tune in next month. I mentioned next show we might come back and talk about uh, or show the, the Type 8 in action but mm. we might have some other bits to talk about. Potentially. Uh, potentially. And more details about some other things for Elite Dangerous coming up. No mic drop this month, I'll be told off if I do, but you should probably tune in next month. What that may be we can of course only speculate. There are at least 2 other ships still to be announced, there's likely more details on Powerplay 2.0 in our future and there is still the as yet unannounced new feature expected after Powerplay. A busy busy year for commanders still ahead. Have you unlocked the Federal Corvette? Do you think the Type 8 is a combat freighter and had you already noted the retracting engine nacelles? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.